Everyone knows free play is one of the best ways to improve fast. But at the same time, almost everyone I see just uses it to chase the ball and spam air dribbles. Sure, chasing has its place, but unless you're already a pro, it's not the only thing you should do, and it's definitely not the fastest way for you to improve. So in this video, I want to go over my top five free play drills that I promise, even if you just mix in for five minutes every time you boot up free play, will make you improve and rank up three times as fast as everyone else at your rank. But if you're new here, what's up? My name's Luke. I'm a top 0.1% rated coach, but I'm mainly known for running Rocket League's largest live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside, we specialize in taking gold through champs like you watching up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. And at the time I'm recording this, we've already got 72 of 100 spots taken for our upcoming March season. So if you want to grab one of those last 28 spots before we sell out and go on pause until this coming May, DM me on Discord with the keyword play, and we can talk details and get you in in time. My Discord will be first linked down below, and let's go over my top five drills for free play. All right, we're going to be counting down in order of increasing difficulty. Plus, I'm actually going to throw in one bonus drill that's a little bit advanced and requires some extra setup. But if you're higher ranked watching, you're absolutely going to want to have. So kicking it off, drill number five, we're going to start with the wall ball drill. Now, with many of these drills, there are going to be multiple levels to it. But all the wall ball drill is meant to train is your actual power and timing with clearing the ball. Level one of this drill will be simply hitting the ball and volleying it to yourself off of the same wall repeatedly. For your first touch, you're not going to want to flip, but after that, simply practice pacing back and forth like I am in this clip here, hitting the ball off the wall, letting it bounce once or twice, depending on how hard you hit it, and then striking it back into the same wall with a front flip. This drill is great for practicing your timing and actual power clears, but one key here that I also want you to pay attention to is the actual power slide turn I'm making when I'm rushing back and hitting the ball off the wall. As you get better and better at this, you want to practice making that 180 power slide turn after you hit the ball off the wall as quick as possible. And this is what's really going to prepare you for in-game scenarios where you can quickly turn and get power clears in situations that most people won't expect. And then for level two, we're going to do the same thing, but instead switch walls as we go. So you'll notice every time I hit the ball here, I'm going to turn my car 270 degrees to the right and then hit it off the next wall to my left. But this one is going to really ramp up your speed. And if you can get the timing down, clearing these consistently, you can push up to diamond and even champ with just this stuff alone. Moving on to drill number four, I call this one the cornering drill. First off, if you don't know why corners are so important, definitely check out a video I made called the only video you need to rank up. I basically explain why corners are so important in that video, and I've gotten loads of positive feedback on it. So the idea with this cornering drill is you simply want to get on the same side of the field as the ball, use that left command on your D-pad to send it at your net, and practice catching and controlling the ball into your corner. If the shot comes on the ground, simply catch it and take it over to your corner boost. But if it's in the air, you're going to have to jump and make a backward save trying to move with the ball into your corner. This might not look hard, but trust me, having to drive backwards and having to get the timing down is much harder than it looks. One thing that I want to highlight is super important to learn is the actual timing of this defensive flip here. When I do this drill, you'll notice that I'm not flipping when I connect with the ball like in the wall ball drill. Instead, I'm often jumping up to meet the ball and hit it to my corner, then flipping after I make contact to move my car towards the ball and chase it down. This is what's going to allow you to control the ball really quickly and turn defense into offense, which honestly, 90% of people below GC can't do. So practice this drill and not only will you become a brick wall on defense, but you're going to start scoring so many breakaway goals in your games. Number three, backboard clears. One of the most underutilized mechanics I see players skip out on is backboard play. And very few people realize you can actually train it in free play, so that's why we're doing this here. Just like with the cornering drill, we can once again use the left command on our D-pad to shoot the ball at us on defense. But this time, the only difference is I want you to start driving up the back wall before you send the ball at you. For level one of this drill, I want you to practice just meeting the ball and hitting it right after it connects with the backboard. 
Pro tip here and a mistake I see a lot of players make is you don't want to actually front flip on these clears. The reason being is because if you front flip, your car will likely stick to the wall. And even if you do hit it, you're probably only going to graze it with the hood of your car. Instead, we want to practice using diagonal flips and barrel rolls to generate more power and clear the ball upfield with our nose. Once you get good at that, you can start doing level two of this drill, which is instead of timing the ball and just trying to meet it when it hits the wall, jump off, air roll, and try to flip into the ball before it connects with the wall. Watch my controller overlay if you need help on that here, but being able to jump off the wall and meet it before it comes will become super useful, especially if the ball is shot on that or it's going to fall before it gets to your backboard. Finally, the last level of this drill that you can practice is the sort of catch into carry drill. This is the hardest variation of them all, but once you get to around low to mid champ, is going to be super useful to learn. Reason being is because as you rank up, players are going to start to anticipate you clearing the ball. So if you can learn how to get a soft touch off the backboard and then jump off and clear it, you'll be able to fake people out and relieve pressure so much better than if you always just go for the booming clear. The key with the catch into the clear is to make Make sure that you're catching the ball on the nose of your car as it connects with the wall. But even if you can just get level one and level two of this drill down, you're going to have better defense than people one or even two ranks above you. Drill number two, ground to air dribbles. Now, I know I said air dribbles were not the best thing to train, but specifically working on ground to air dribbles is something that I think is a lot more useful because it's going to make you good at first touches. For this drill, there are going to be three levels. And for those of you newer, we're going to start out with a simple assisted ground to air dribble. For this one, you're going to want to use the up and then to the right command on your D-pad to spawn the ball on your car and then pop it into the air. For starters, your only goal is to get the ball in the air and follow it for two or or three touches if possible. At first, it's gonna be extremely hard to even get that, but stick with it because practicing this drill is gonna make your setups and aerial car control so much more precise than if you spent the exact same time just practicing aerials or aerial redirects. Once you can do the assisted method, we're gonna level up to the sort of half assist. For this one, spawn the ball on your car, pop it in the air, but then move your car back to let the ball bounce one or two times. From here, we now wanna do that same air dribble setup, but we'll have to double jump to get that pop. This will take some timing at first, but once you're able to get it down, it's the exact same motion through the rest of the carry. You may also recognize this drill from a lot of pro play because this is becoming a super common way to take the ball down the field or to move it at the highest levels. Finally, for the hardest level, we'll move on to the no assist. This is basically going to be just spawning the ball straight on your car, popping it into the air and trying to keep it up for as long as possible. My best tip here is to make sure that you pop the ball a good ways towards the back of your car to make sure you get enough lift on it. This level is significantly harder than the previous two, but stick with it because once you get these down, I guarantee your first touches and your aerial and aerial adjustments are going to be so much better than everybody else who's just practicing the setups off the wall. Finally, drill number one before I go into the bonus is going to be none other than the hot potato drill. The hot potato drill might look easy, but it's actually one of the hardest and most important things for you to practice if you're anything below GC two or three. The idea with the hot potato drill is we simply want to practice moving the ball in circles around the field while keeping a bounce. The reason this is so useful is because there's no other drill that forces you to be as precise with your ground sensitivity than the hot potato drill. At first, I want you to just spawn the ball on your car using the up command or in front using the down and just practice moving the ball around the field in circles without power slide or without anything crazy. Just keeping the bounce by hitting the ball on the side of your car is going to be difficult at first. And you might not realize it, but the more you do this, the faster and sharper your turning is going to become. Once you get good at timing the up bounce, you can then start to tap power slide and mix in cuts. The best tip I can give here is that less is more. You don't need to move fast and you don't need to hold power slide for a long amount of time to get sharp turns and pops on the ball. 
and once you can get all of them consistently, practice finishing things off by shooting on net using a barrel roll or diagonal flip. So once again, I know it might not look like much, but if you can just master this mechanic alone, you can use it to get all the way up to GC with almost nothing else. Lastly, as a bonus, for those of you who are more advanced watching and made it to this point, I want to highlight something called the Free Play Checkpoint plugin. The Free Play Checkpoint plugin has probably been the single best thing for my car control. Basically, what the Free Play Checkpoint plugin allows you to do is freeze and rewind to a specific moment in Free Play and repeat it an unlimited amount of times. So once you get to a higher level, let's say you're trying to master the double tap and you're having a really tough time finishing a specific setup. Well, what you can do is literally go into Free Play and after you miss the shot, click a button to rewind and save that shot. Then you just hit play and you can repeat that exact scenario to target your weak point specifically and drill it as many times as you want. As you can imagine, there is almost no better way to drill a specific moment of a mechanic than this. And you want to train stuff like flip resets and double flip resets. There's literally no better way. The only downside of this plugin is that yes, it's PC exclusive. You got to download it and install it with Bacchus mod. And it is a little bit of a pain to get set up. The good news is once you do, the amount of time you will save training mechanics at the higher ranks is insane. And if it weren't for this, it would have probably taken me three times or four times as long to learn double flip resets, double taps, and a ton of other mechanics once I hit GC. So if you're on PC and are more advanced, I'll have another video linked on screen where I explain how to set this plugin up and I run through all of that. But if you're not GC or you aren't on PC, just go pick one of the other five drills to try out. And I promise if you just start mixing these in to your normal free play chasing sessions, you will see a night and day improvement in your mechanics. If you got more questions or need help getting any of the setup, definitely join and ask away in my discord down below. If you didn't know, we're actually the largest free improvement discord with almost 40,000 members. Plus it's completely free to join and you can leave whenever you want. So join up, feel free to DM me if you want more personalized help. Otherwise I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.